Hello, my name is Ezra and today I bring you an interesting video on Bloodshot Reborn. This is an interesting comic because this is something that I didn't think I'd be picking up. This is in the kind of realm in my head, tell me if I'm wrong, of a kind of superhero comic, which I don't tend to get involved with. So this is why I was really surprised that I, I kind of went for this. And you know, the only reason why I did was because this was trending on Twitter. That many people can't be wrong. So I thought, why not? Now, if you don't know anything about Bloodshot, which I didn't, Bloodshot was all about a former soldier who was injected with nanites, which gave him insane regeneration capabilities. Now, as goes the story with these things, he managed to find out that he was implanted with fake memories, and of course, he decided to go out for vengeance to try and kill all those who put him in that position. So his nanites enabled him to regenerate insanely quickly. He had billions and billions of these nanites injected into his system. It also helped him to interface with technology. So enough about the backstory. We catch up with Bloodshot in a self-imposed exile where he lives in a time when he is essentially punishing himself. He is void of his past self. He looks completely normal. He doesn't have white skin like he did originally. You can see the artwork here. It's absolutely fantastic by Paolo Rivera. It's very detailed and it's very humanistic. It gives it a real feeling of emotion which there's so much depth to the character just from issue one in this, and that's even if you haven't even gone back and read the previous comics. I am already gripped by this. It really delves into the psyche. Not much action in the first comic. It really sets up who he is and where he's come from and why he feels this way. In terms of making me believe in a character and making me care about him, this has absolutely nailed it to a T, and that's why I will be coming back for Bloodshot Reborn number two and I want it now, but I can't because it's not really out yet. It's it's probably one of the most exciting things that I'm reading at, at this point in time, which completely surprises me because, like I said, I'm not a fan of superhero comics, but this is Bloodshot Reborn. It's in shops now. Please go out and get it if you like emotional attachment, human psyche, excitement in terms of action, which you know is coming if you've read Bloodshot in the past, which I've done some research on, and I know it's going to be there. It seems to be quite gory if you're into that kind of stuff as well, so... What more can I say? Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been a quick look at Bloodshot Reborn number one. I will speak to you guys soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.